Okay, so what is up everyone? This is Karen here. Welcome back again to Tech Karen YouTube channel. We're talking about the latest Xiaomi EU build based on 12.5. I've installed it on my Redmi Note 8 as you can see the, with the latest February security patch and also it has the latest Android version 11. Now as Android version 11 is now official for the Redmi Note 8 users. So yes, I have this and installed on our device and as you can see, it's looking quite good here. After really using for some time, I'm gonna share with you some things about this build. Let's get started quickly about the things and as you can see, it has a new kind of notification panel. This is a new update, let's find out. So guys, as you can see, we have the same kind of UI as expectedly with this, but let me show you by going to wallpaper and personalization, wallpaper. We have new kind of super wallpapers. Almost every wallpaper, super wallpaper is same here, but we have a new super wallpaper available, which is a weather super wallpaper. I have a dedicated video on that one. Make sure to check out that. Snowy peaks, geometry, faraway rings, home, red planet, and at last the weather super wallpaper. Here you'll not be able to see the preview, so just click on apply. And after that, here it is how this latest super wallpaper is looking like. This is looking quite great and amazing and this is one of the great kind of super wallpapers but yes it's a super wallpaper so don't use it without any kind of knowledge because this will hang up your device like redmi note 8 also but it's up to you moving on to some other things we have the display where we have the light mode dark mode as expectedly the 3.0 also it is a very cool feature called allow all rotations so that you'll be able to rotate your device to all of the directions which is one of my great one of my favorite features and I just if I was just able to use this feature some time ago now if we go to the notification and control center notification shade has the same kind of features expand and show weather info or you can customize according to MIUI or android let me show you a new thing as you can see just swipe from here or from here to switch between the notification center and the control center this is just a new update in this build and it's quite looking great here and this is available in this latest update now uh, other updates will also come with this kind of option but right now the xiaomi EU is the first build to give you this kind of update not actually this one but china beta was also there but uh, xiaomi EU is good Android RD strike it's not recommended to use because you already know that Android RD strike will cause you some issues so don't use that. Moving on to the home screen, yes we have the classic app vault and same kind of features. Home screen layout has a good kind of options 4x6, 4x7 up to 6x7 and also it includes the icon related things. You can customize the style or you can customize the size and arrange items in recents where you can simply arrange items vertical or horizontal a new kind of launcher feature which is now actually not kind of new but it's good here. All the things are quite same as expectedly. And if you go for the font settings, here we have the new option called system wide variable font. Then you need to restart your device if you disable this. By default, it's enabled. And as you can see, I've already enabled this one. This is kind of a fix for some of the devices which were not able to properly then properly adapt those fonts. So that's why there was the option and now it's a fix. So working fine here, no issues available in Redmi Note 8 by the way. Password and security, same here, fingerprint face etc has same kind of things, privacy protection passwords and you'll be able to use a face lock, fingerprint both at a one time, no issues available and also in privacy and here we have the new kind of privacy options which is not actually available in the global stable or India stable right now because Mune 12.5 is officially not released, it will be released on 8th Feb so looking for that. Let me show you going into Magisk Manager how about the safety net status and which Magisk version I'm using 21.4 as 
as you can see and if you go for the safety net status here we have as expectedly attestation failed which means that the safety net status is not passed i'll not be able to use the banking apps but yes we have some modules available i haven't tried any kind of module available i haven't tried any kind of module right now but yes you can try out if you want to to pass the safety net status not sure if it will work or not and at last we have the camera related things pro mode video mode photo mode a lot more things are already available if you go for the 48 megapixel this is working fine and as you can see it's quite good here you can simply customize some settings here watermark picture quality if you go for the watermark you also have the option to add the timestamp on photos or you can also enable the device watermark including the custom watermark let's try out the this one which is default ai quad camera and if you go here if you click any photo it will take some time to load so wait let me show you that how it is looking like and what is the watermark which is showing here this is redmi note 8 ai quad camera same kind of but you're gonna adjust and customize this thing if you want to this is all from today's short and simple video i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share thanks for watching